one more neat little feature I'd like to bring to your attention even though we have the left and the passenger side uh, you, you click on this it'll light it up click on that it'll light up the right side and then you could control the adjustments for the mirrors the side view mirrors here's a neat little thing you have the center button here what does that center button do I'll tell you what that center button does it's an automatic fold away of these mirrors on both sides electronically controlled that's very handy especially at car washes or if you live on a street that's pretty narrow where you have people always taking out your side mirrors <laughs> that's not that's pretty common in the city so uh, uh, that that'll be a very handy feature so you don't got to get out and fold them in on your own all the time me I go out to play pool in the bar I have a friend that always goes to the side view mirror and he'll push it into the side on my old truck anyway and I had to get out to uh, to fix it back up or, or pull over if I didn't notice it until I was driving now I just press a button and they go in, press another button, go back out. Awesome. Love it. Also, in a previous video, don't think I went over, the four-wheel drive mode. Okay, so, with the four-wheel drive mode, unfortunately, this is not shift on the fly while you're driving. You have to have it in neutral with your foot on the brake in order to change to... Uh, four-wheel drive. I know it says auto four-wheel drive two-wheel drive I'm not sure what the four-wheel drive auto is. I gotta take a look at that button but we got the low and we got the lock auto four-wheel drive hmm get back to you on that that never worked on my old truck never had a button there uh, so two-wheel drive four-wheel drive it seems to be more responsive it happens a little bit quicker oh. four-wheel drive low is taking let's see four-wheel drive lock four-wheel drive low to complete four-wheel drive put transmission in neutral oh. I'm in park you got to have it in neutral not even park Go into four wheel drive low. I like them apples. Let's see, four wheel drive low. Two wheel drive. Four wheel drive. And you wait, and you wait, and you wait, and the buttons go. Uh, let's just retry. Uh oh. Four wheel drive. Okay, I can hear it working. There we go. Four wheel drive low. All right. Go back to two-wheel drive. You can hear it clicking now. All right, so it does happen a little bit quicker. It's a little more responsive. My last truck, it took a while to do. Uh, auto four-wheel drive. I'm not sure what that's up. What's up with that? Does it automatically switch to four-wheel drive mode? I don't hear nothing clicking, so I think we're in two-wheel drive until we need to four-wheel drive. I'll take a look at the manual and I'll get back to you on that. Let me put, go back to two-wheel drive, drive around the city most of the time. Two-wheel drive, it's also more economical. Uh, economic. Woo. Economical. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Get a little tongue-tied. So it's a little more economical. Uh, Four-wheel drive, uh, you know, uh, you can't make as tight of turns because of the, when you got it in four-wheel drive mode. And, of course, the mileage is not as good. Uh, not that the mileage is great anyway on a four-wheel drive uh, Because as you can see Even though I just got the truck. I only have 72 miles on it. It's averaging 13.7 miles per gallon now on the highway you could get better mileage out of these um, But uh, usually requires put it back in park uh, Requires that you throttle you you have to uh, play with the throttle um, 
you can't just drive with your foot on the throttle at a certain spot. You have to actually um, feather the throttle a little bit. You know, when you get on the gas, you got to let go of it and then put your foot back to that point uh, so that you can keep the most economical driving way. You know, you can see that when you're uh, when you have this. Hold on a second. You know what? We're gonna go out for a quick ride. Uh, let me put this down for one sec. Sorry about that. And we're gonna go for a quick ride just so that you could see. All right. Make sure nobody's behind me. Let me watch where the hell I'm going. See that? Rear view cam. Got my seatbelt on. Let's go for a ride. When you get on the gas, see that the number in the green showing you what your current miles per gallon are. I guess at the level of uh, how far you got your foot down stomped on the gas. I'm going to get on a main road so once all these cars let me go. Side street but it seems pretty busy right now. Okay. You got your foot on the gas and you're driving local. The mileage is low of course. Miles per gallon. That's only when you're accelerating. So let, let me turn the corner here into the main road. We can take a look what we got. This thing drives like a Cadillac, I may, I may add. Okay. Take my foot off the off the gas and just throttle it. You see the the, the mileage immediately goes up to what you're going to average. All right. I'm at a stop sign. It's going down. I'm going now, get on the gas. Got some nice pickup with this Hemi. All right, now I get my foot off the, off the gas. You can see we're only going about 35 miles an hour. And you see that, that mileage is all over the place. I have 96 right now. Yeah. I'm, in, I'm going for a couple of blocks and then, you know, on the gas, off the gas. And this is what's going on. I get on the gas right now. I, I let back, as you can see, on the tack there. And we're just keeping, the, uh, keeping it steady now. About 30 miles an, uh, 30 miles an hour. And it says averaging between 20 and 35, I guess. And this is if I just coasted the speed. But when you live in a city, you're uh, you're going to be all over. You're going to be your mileage is going to be up. Uh, you're going to be getting on the gas. You're going to be getting off the gas. And the way that it averages out, it's uh, the mileage on these things ain't that great. All right. Uh, I would say for city driving, the best, the best you're probably going to get is about uh, 15 miles per gallon on average. All right. Uh, maybe. Uh, uh, on the highway, if you go for a very long ride, you could get some decent mileage out of it for a truck. Uh, maybe, uh, 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 maybe uh, 23, uh, 24 miles per gallon. Maybe even a little bit more if you're coasting most of the time on the highway. Uh, but when you're on the in, in city driving on the on the gas, off the gas. Uh, you're going to get between 11 and 15 miles a gallon, depending on how well you can throttle that. You know, if you're always on the gas and then you don't let your foot up, you're going to be using a lot more gas. I had to learn this after having this truck for a while, uh, or my previous truck. Uh, I learned that uh, only towards the end of my lease, okay? See, so, you now we're, we're, we're on a road here that we're coasting, um, going uh, about 40 miles an hour, almost 40 miles an hour. And I got my foot steady on the gas right now, just barely on the on the throttle. I'm even letting back on it a little bit. You see the mi uh, miles per gallon 
economy reading going up. Coming to a merge here. Now I gotta get back. Foot on the gas. Mileage goes down. But I like to have that in front of me, that uh, the screen. So you know, you got the you got the speedometer on the right over here. You know, um, I like to have this uh, gauge in front of me so that I could uh, watch and keep an eye on am I getting the most economical uh, mileage out of it. This way, uh, uh, you know, gas prices going up. And this thing not being the best on gas. And I live in New Jersey, uh, so raising the tax 23 cents or, or more soon so, per gallon. So uh, that will add up. Unfortunately, most of these uh, most of these dealerships around here don't carry around the eco diesel, and uh, uh, they they try to uh, get you away from that. They'd say, "Oh, it's too expensive." I think it's a three thousand dollar option, but most of them don't carry it around here. And um, I'm in New Jersey, and uh, good luck finding the uh, um, what's it, the big diesel, uh, the Cummins, uh, and that's a out of my price range anyway because that, that adds considerable amount to the price but anyway I'm on the highway right now and uh, we'll uh, let you go I just wanted to show you that new feature or that feature how it works